Well, there we go. Woken up in the morning in Orid. It's actually not raining. It's not the nicest of days. There's a lot of cloud cover, but it's not pouring down with rain like it was forecast. So it looks like there is actually some opportunity to do some stuff today. So I've just been on the phone to the guys that I was hanging out with yesterday, and we're going to meet up shortly. Just going to jump in the shower, get out the door, and get down to the waterfront. Going to take a boat on the lake as long as the rain holds off, and hopefully see some of the sights. So, well, let's rush out and take advantage of it while we can. There we go, let's venture out and meet up with the other guys. So this is a very much a residential kind of apartment block area, but it's just really right by the center, so it's pretty convenient. Should be about a kilometre walk now down to the waterfront. Try and shoot some video on the way, just show you what it's like around here in the centre. And there we go, found them. All good. Can actually see the lake now. Just popped down here last night just to take a look. Obviously dark, you can't really see anything. Apart from a ton of people. So the Bare Bones, the museum here, is basically a recreation of the old stilt houses that people used to live in on the lake. And the museum has Iron Age, Bronze Age relics that they found from around here. I've got to admit, I never really expect much from these sort of places where it's a recreation of where people used to live, but this is actually quite nice around here. You really get a feeling and a sense for it going into these places. I like the way they've done this. And the dodgy wooden planks that you have to walk over make it all seem more real. This is really quite fun. Well guys, that was just fantastic. That's the highlight of the day so far. Well, to be honest, this is the first sight of the day, but looking like a pretty good day, right? It's sad to be leaving that lovely site, but we're off up to the monastery and springs now. I'll tell you a little bit more about that when we get there. So this is the monastery of St. Naum. We're basically a stone's throw from the Albanian border here, and it's quite a popular place you can see by the car park. You want your wishes to come true? Throw a coin in the river here. Oh, we're getting on a boat into the lake. This is nicer. Can you believe this water here is three and a half meters? It looks so much more shallow. And that's where you actually see the natural springs bubbling up from under the water. Fantastic, the water's so clear, so beautiful. And this is the tiny renovated Holy Mother of God church. Just got out of the boat to this little place. It's about a kilometer from the Albanian border here. What a beautiful place. The frescoes are so beautifully painted, so vibrant of color. And then you've got the water running and the stones in the middle. It's so unique, so special for this area. And the spring water here is so clean. You can just fill your water bottle and take a drink. Wow, and it tastes good. So highly recommended our boat driver here, uh, Nikolai. Nikolai uh, Nikolai has uh, boat number one, so uh, definitely check him out. He's uh, seriously, he's a great guy. But he's going to sing for us now. My song. Sorry for my terrible voice. Izvorite vo svetina Parička frli za sreća Želba si zamisli Ne, ne, ne pogleda Ubava make duho Kade li za ne that's the end of a lovely, lovely trip. Uh, Nikolai, sir, you're a legend. Seriously, look this guy up, boat number one. Nikolai takes the time to uh, get overtaken by other boats, go slowly, and just tell us nice stories. Thank you so much, sir. So this is the actual St. Now Monastery now. 
After being out on the boat, this is quite a contrast. A lot more people coming up here, a lot more tourists, very busy. Gonna head out of this lovely place now, back to Orid town. It's been so nice coming out of Orid and coming to these well, surrounding towns. This is beautiful, this part down near the Albanian border. Almost sad to be going back to Orid. But it is what it is. It'd be nice to have some lunch back there. So we're gonna go do that now. Back in Orid itself now for a bit of late lunch. That was an awesome morning of some sightseeing down the south of the lake. So just stopped off for lunch here at restaurant St. Sophia, which is basically right overlooking the St. Sophia church that you see behind me. It's actually a beautiful place here. Okay, so the famous Macedonian stuffed peppers have arrived and would you look at that bubbly goodness. This looks absolutely delicious, but it's so, so super hot. We're gonna have to wait a little while to try this one. Okay, given the volcanic hotness of this, let's just start easy with a bit of a bready dip. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Lovely, lovely rich tomato sauce right there. Sign of things to come. Oh, it's still hot though. Mmm. Mmm. That is super tasty. It's like those, uh, the vine leaves where you have the rice and the minced meat inside, but with this lovely peppery flavor too, obviously coming from the, uh, well, the pepper that it's served in. Lovely. Mm. Okay, that's a necessary nose bag eaten. Let's get back to the sights. So this is St. Sophia Church that we've been basically looking out on over lunch. All right, so this is goodbye time. So, uh, Javier, it's been great to hang out. It's been really awesome these few days. I hope you enjoy the rest of your trip. Thank you. And uh, Vlado, you are a legend. Thank you, sir. Started off as my, uh, my guide for Kosovo, and then uh, now you've just been, uh, well, taking me around, not really asking anything in return. But uh, yeah, you're a wonderful guy, and a wonderful guide, and so much fun. Glad to see, see ya. See you guys. Have a good trip back. You too. So this little walkway here, just down by the cliffs and the waterfront, is going to take us up to the classic Instagram view from Orid, the Church of St. John the Theologian. I'll tell you a little bit more when we get up there, but this is a beautiful walk to start with. So we're going to be climbing up the hill sometime soon, I think. So we get off the wooden walkway and it looks like we've got some very stony beach action down here. Not quite sure where the way up is, but we'll come across that soon, I'm sure. And there we go, for the end of the sightseeing for the day, the classic spot in Orid. This is just beautiful. Orid started kind of bad. I didn't really get good first impressions on that rainy day yesterday, but this has just been a fantastic day. And what a beautiful spot here, overlooking the lake and this beautiful church. So a final tough walk up the hill from the church takes me to St. Samuel's Fortress, that you see basically looming high on the hill over the town from pretty much anywhere you are. So quite thankfully up by the fort, I find the Fort Cafe. This is a lovely place just to sit and relax for a little while before my dinner reservation later. So just gonna sit here, chill for a while, and enjoy the view. Just coming down from the hill now and this is the Holy Mary Orthodox Church. Actually started raining up there for a while, so I got trapped up there for a little while, but it seems to have eased off now, thankfully. This behind me is Podrum where I'm eating dinner. This is supposed to be one of the best places for local Macedonian food. Just set back from where the water is, so cheaper but also nicer. So we're gonna go and try the Orid trout, the famous local dish here. So this is what I've been looking forward to trying here, the Orid trout, the famous dish from the region. And what better place to have it 
This place set back from basically the main waterfront. Doesn't try to be pretentious, doesn't try to be big with loud popular music and that sort of thing. This is really a lot more traditional, looks like a lot more local, a lot more sort of family style restaurant. So loving the vibe here, absolutely. And it's just lovely. As I was going to have some sama to start with, you know, the, uh, the rice and mincemeat in uh, vine leaves, but they didn't have that available yet. So they just bought out a really nice salad instead. Looks lovely. We've got some of the local cheese, some of this nice bread, some zucchini. Nice. Let's try some of the cheese first. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That is full of flavor. Really, really sharp, kind of like feta, but not sharp and salty like the uh, cheese that I had in Kosovo. So the main course has arrived. This is the famous dish from the region, or at least one of the famous dishes from the region, orid trout. So this is the grilled variety. There's also a ba baked and steamed variety. And I've also been given some of the local beans, which is a traditional thing to eat as well here. So a little serving of that just to try. Really, really generous here, certainly. I'm gonna have way more food than I can eat, but it looks absolutely delicious. Okay, let's try a nice bit of this grilled fish. Mmm. Mmm. Beautiful. It's so soft, it's so fresh. Such a pleasure, such an absolute pleasure in life. I love a good piece of grilled fish. This is fresh from the lake. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. That is pretty good. It's better than English baked beans, which are, well, obviously a tomato sauce sugary mess, to be fair, so that's not any competition. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Great experience to finish off my time here in Orid. Lovely place, beautiful food, wonderful hospitality, such generosity, and just a lovely family place. Children running around. It's just, it's just fantastic. Absolutely top pick to go to and eat. The life and the business is really starting to pick up down here now. Just heading up towards Old Bazaar Street, which is absolutely nothing like an old bazaar at all. It's just like a modern shopping street. I don't quite see the attraction myself, so I think I'm going to avoid it, but I'll show you guys anyway. So we've got somebody going on over here, might as well take a little look on the way. And that's it folks, Irish Pub 5, that means it's the end of my time here. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like if you got this far, and please subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time, folks.